Hey everyone, welcome back to Valkyrie Adventures with me, DeWaldo. I said I would pick the episodes up once I encounter some sort of different level or something, because Gehenna is quite samey all the way through. So I believe I have found... Oh, there's the up staircase. Good. I dug down to the... Whoa. That's weird. Oh. That's what's going on. I... I guess this is another unique level. Oh, shoot. Yeah. There we go. Beelzebub. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So let me use my unicorn horn. He's pretty annoying. I think I will try the uh, same strategy I've been doing with the other demon lords. Just kind of wait for them to spawn by me, which should happen. There we go. I stagger. I'm stunned. Let's go down and use that unicorn horn. Come on. Come on. Oh, Jesus. Ah, did that really just happen? Ah. Yep. Yes, it did. Both my Great Dragon Scale Mail and my Cloak of Magic Protection have vanished, disappeared. So, I mean, isn't Gehenna great? Isn't it just fucking peachy keen? Oh, boy. So, uh, I'll just do what I do best. Slash him. Oh, and he was standing on the up staircase. No, nope, come on. We're going downstairs. And... Okay. Oh, that was Jewy Blex, so I guess I just killed Jewy Blex. And I'm ill, so I have to unicorn horn that away. Ooh, being ill is very bad. Uh, it will just out and out kill you in a couple turns, so. Man, things, things did not go good right there. But fortunately, I have a black dragon corpse. Whether or not I can finish the whole damn thing, I doubt I can, but let's see. Ah, no, I can't. God damn it. It would be really good to eat it. I don't want to take the chance, even though I am technically lucky right now, since it's a full moon, I, I don't need to choke on a corpse. <laughs> it's not a thing I need to do right now. So I killed the Lord of Slime. That was good. I should have just ran away from Beelzebub. Oh well, he's, it's, uh, he's good to deal with now. And that reminds me, I think I need to... Use my Wand of Wishing to get me a new I could of course um, if I looked back I might have been able to find some Grey Dragon Scales if you put those on with the W command and then uh, read a scroll of enchant armor, you will get yourself some gray dragon scale mail. But I don't know if I have time for that, and I don't know if I want to risk it with Beelzebub upstairs again, so boom. Gray dragon scale mail. And I will adjust that to A. No, not wield, I want to wear it. There we go back to negative 18 which is good it would be very nice to have disintegration resistance I don't know if that uh, does anything for your armor I'll have to look that up but I'm pretty sure it kind of helps it out I thought my Cloak of Magic Resistance would have protected me a little bit better in that instance, but I guess not. Such are the dangers of adventuring. Now, Jewyblex's Lair is uh, 
kind of filled with water. Oh, wait. I still have Beelzebub to worry about. Uh, do I take him on again? Do I leave him? I mean, I'm going to have to go back up through this again once, uh, once I get the amulet and I'm trying to escape. And taking on Beelzebub plus the wizard? No fun at all. So let's try this one more time. Yes, I kill my ghost. Spooky scary. Come on, Beelzebub. I mean, other than disintegration attacks, um, it's not like most demon lords. Oh, shoot. Right, let's go down. Okay, good. I'm on the staircase this time. Beelzebub is abiting me. Poison doesn't affect me. Goddamn Lord of Flies. There we go. Killed them. So I guess disintegration as well as death attacks are probably the things I have to worry about the most. Oh, nice. And a potion of gain ability. Um, I could hold on to that and wait until I know it's... Uh, it's not cursed, but meh. Let me quaff. I'm feeling I'm feeling dangerous. Not apply. Let me quaff it. I feel strong. Oh great, that's the one I needed. Strength. Thanks. And let's just get that potion of healing out of the way. Gray potions have a benefit in that they can randomly spawn a genie. Uh, it's really, I probably mentioned this before, but it's really great to have a, uh, oh shoot, ah, and I got level drained. I'm supposed to be lucky right now. My armor's destroyed, I get level drained. That's why you should wield Excalibur. Like I was saying before, it's good to have gray potion be healing potions because he healing potions are super common uh, and it just ups that chance that you can find a genie in one of them blinded by a flash of light nice let's unicorn horn myself better engagement ring I don't I don't know if I really need rings Is it time to... Oh, shit. Damn it. <laughs> ah. Okay. Ah, I need to watch out for that. Okay, I think it's time to put on the water walking boots. Uh-huh. Sounds good, sounds good. There we go. Uh, Jewy Blex's lair is full of wonderful, wonderful jellies and slimes and puddings and whatnot. He is the Lord of Ooze, so it's uh, it's really easy to pick up a bunch of intrinsics here. I mean, gelatinous cubes themselves can grant pretty much every intrinsic at a very small chance. I'm just going to turn my lamp on here. And uh, the jellies can. I'm gonna take that potion of confusion. The jellies can uh, give shock resistance, which is good to have. Make sure your stuff doesn't explode anymore. But I'm pretty sure intrinsics don't grant protection against. Just kill all these things. A robe? Hmm, that might be nice to have. Um, do I have my robe of protection or was I stupid and left that behind? I was stupid and I left that behind. See, that's why it's good to carry some things, even when you don't need them anymore. I might find another robe of magic resistance. They're not incredibly hard to come by. Okay, Minotaur. 
They're strong. They dish out a lot of damage, but they're, you know, not too much. Don't, not a huge worry when you are a Valkyrie with the Orb of Fate. But, ugh. See, Gehenna is tricky. Gehenna is bad. Gehenna hurts you. Makes you sad. Um, I think that might be it for this little bit. I will resume once I find something interesting. Take care. Hey there, a quick little update on my progress. So I'm at dungeon level 38 right now, and I found the Wizard's Tower. Um, this, I'm not sure when exactly you encounter it. Somewhere around mid to late Gehenna, you'll come across this kind of central area. And as you can see, there's like a little tower kind of right in the center. And in the middle of that tower, is probably the most annoying and challenging enemies of the game, the Wizard of Yendor. So a quick word on him. Um, he's super annoying. Thankfully we don't have to fight him yet, but we will have to kill him in order to get the Book of the Dead, which we need to get the Amulet of Yendor. Um, other than that, after you, it's possible to steal the Book of the Dead without waking him up. I'm not exactly too sure on how to do that, and I think you need, you know, some kind of stealthy character in order to be able to sneak up on him, which I won't be able to do with this heavy-handed <laughs> Valkyrie. Um, later on, we'll adventure there together. Uh, after you kill him, every 250 turns, he will spawn. Uh, cause some sort of trouble. He'll either spawn, and that's really annoying, you have to kill him again, and he has annoying spells which summon monsters and crap like that. Or he'll do things like uh, randomly level teleport you, or just curse items in your inventory. Uh, just generally a super annoying person. Um, You'll have to keep fighting him until you get to the elemental plane. So all the way back up the dungeon, back to dungeon level 1, and then up one more. You'll have to fight him one last time. I actually got that far once with a knight character, and then just died. Right in the first elemental planes. It was very sad. Uh, but... Um, Wizard's Tower won't be next. Uh, next will be Vlad's Tower, so stay tuned for that. Oh, it looks like I misjudged a little bit. That's what she said. And uh, I don't think I'll make it to the tower this time. I wanted to actually show you uh, Orcus. And this is Orcus Town. It has a bunch of items. Uh, oh, shoot. Darn it. Looks like shades are kind of like gelatinous cubes in that they can freeze you, which is no fun. So, Orcus is another demon lord, and this is his happy little town. Okay, that's just a skeleton. Uh, he has a bunch of... Ah, oh, god damn it! I keep getting level drained! I think I'm going to... I think I might equip Excalibur, because I'm just tired of getting level drained. It's such a pain. Um, whoa. That's no good either. Hmm, who to take out first? I think the dragon. I don't want my stuff getting burnt. Not at all. Yeah, I think I'll be fine here. I'm just attack everything so there's a bunch of item shops and oh I forgot I'm actually wearing an invisibility cloak which I will take off for you YouTube uh, just to make myself easier to see uh, there are like tons of tons of magic traps around which I remember in one playthrough, I had no idea, or some, 
Oh, what was it? Oh yeah, my Candelabrum of Invocation got cursed. And I had no scrolls of Remove Curse, nor did I have any scrolls of... Uh, nor did I have any, you know, blank scrolls or anything like that. So I ended up uh, coming here and just stepping on a... Oh, I want it cold. Stepping on a magic trap over and over to uncurse my candelabrum. Ha 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 ha. So, like I was saying, uh, Wand of Lightning. I don't need that. I don't need that. Man, this is becoming way more nor. Ooh. Did he just take away my intrinsic speed? Fuck. This is becoming way more of a pain than I imagined. Oh well, I will put these one these rings in my bag. Uh, another good thing about Orcus Town is there is an altar of Moloch, which, as I've said before, you can't. Uh, you can't convert, but you can use it to curse test items, which is good. Yeah, die. Um, so also in Orcus Town, Orcus will spawn. He always spawns with a Wand of Death, which can be good or bad. I think I'm going to use my... No, not the horse corpse. Yes, the yeti corpse. Yeah, keep eating it. There we go. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to use my own wand of death to take on Orcus. Just so that I can get his Wand of Death with near full charges, I think will be the best for me. And I think I want to take on pretty much everything before I... Before I advance. Ah. Of course a fire trap. And of course I get level drained again. And of course I get level drained once again. Okay, this level draining is becoming a serious impediment. Uh, do I... I can't dual wield with uh, Excalibur because it is an intelligent artifact and it does not like kind of sharing the spotlight. I can um, wear a shield, which I still have my plus three small shield. Don't have a silver shield yet. I could also genocide vampires, which seeming like a a good idea for me. Let me just use my unicorn horn a couple times, see if I can see if any of my stats have been drained. Doesn't look like it. Other than that, maybe I can take on Maybe I should be using my uh, daggers. Yeah, just get some range damage on them. That seems like an idea. I think I'll try that. And of course, there goes level 16 again. Ah, Jesus. Okay, so there's Orcus. Uh, like I said, I'm going to try the Wand of Death. Um, it kind of sucks not knowing where the walls are. I don't know if it's going to bounce around and hit me. Um, I should be immune to it. I'm actually not sure if Orcus is immune to it. Maybe I'll check before wasting a zap. It doesn't appear as such, and I really want to get that uh, Wand of Death without him wasting too many charges from it. So, let's try it. 
Uh, misses. Let's try it one more time. Nah, it doesn't seem like it. And it looks like he teleported to the staircase, like they always do. Man, this play is not going well for me. Now I could tucktail and run, but like I said, you always have to you always have to come back here. And Orcus can summon Demogorgon which is a huge pain in the ass. Ah. Ooh, I'll take that other Ring of Conflict. I should maybe be wearing my Ring of Conflict just a little bit more. Found another bag of holding. Oh, and of course, he summons a bunch of shit. Hmm. Yeah, maybe I'll put on that Ring of Conflict now. Wait. Okay, good. I still have my Amulet of Life Saving on. Ring of Conflict really ups your hunger. But I'll take it. Wand of Create Monster. Did I kill Orcus? Large Mimic Corpse, Large Mimic Bag of Holding, Large Mimic and a Food Ration. No, it seems that Orcus is still out there. There's that bastard. Um. There we go. Potion of full healing and another wand of death, which is probably out of charges by now. I think I'll instantly drink that potion of healing. Oh, hello. Potion of gain level. Put those in my backpack. And I might, hmm, I might check to see if it's cursed or not, because a cursed potion of gain level will make you literally gain a level and rise through the ceiling, which is a uh, crappy use of a scroll of gain level. So let's keep using that range. Take out the vampire lord. Um, yeah, I'm kind of playing it fast and loose. Here we go. So right in the middle, here's the altar to Moloch. Again, don't try and convert it. And let's drop all these lovely scrolls and potions and rings on there. Then I can start testing some of these. Uh, I've also started kind of hoarding unicorn horns. Just so that I can... Uh, try and polypile them. Put them all in a group, hit them with a wand of polymorph, and hopefully get a magic marker out of the deal. So it looks like all my rings are uncursed, which is great for me. Blessed Potion of Confusion, I guess, and good and uncursed scroll of gain level. I identify, enchant armor, good, good, good. Do I want to use enchant armor? Hmm. I think I might I think I might even burn a scroll of identify on my rings if I can't identify them. And blessed scroll of enchant armor. Well, could just use it on my dragon scale mail. It would be good to get it to plus three and then use one to hopefully pop it to plus five, but I don't 
see myself coming into too many too many of those things. So Wand of Death, Wand of Digging you can go in there. Both these Unicorn Horns. And it looks like a lot of my stuff has become cursed. Or at least the BCU status is unknown. So let's take off my Grey Dragon Scale Mail and drop it. Okay, that's still blessed. Uh, someone's doing construction, sorry if you can hear that. Um, actually, that might be it for this play. I'll let you know if I come across any good rings and what exactly I do with my scrolls next time. So thanks for watching and take care.